Hi everyone, welcome back to AFTV. Now we've got a bit of breaking news to bring you amongst all the content that's coming out today. We do have to talk about this because it looks like Ainsley Maitland-Niles could be leaving Arsenal. Now at the time of filming this, it's not officially confirmed, but all the reputable sources in the media, the papers, all that are saying that it looks like he's going to be joining Roma on a loan deal to the end of the season. Now the big question is whether there's going to be an option to buy in that, an obligation to buy. Where I'm reading it says it's likely to be an option to buy, but that's not 100% confirmed across all sources so we wait to see there's a little like a deal that was maybe not going to get done with Rover not looking like they were going to meet what Arsenal wanted for ANC Maitland-Niles but now it seems that some kind of agreement has been made they were even saying that if it wasn't going to be Roma then he was likely going to stay at Arsenal now this brings up a lot of questions um, let's talk about Ainsley for a second before we go into those questions I've always liked Ainsley as a player I think he spent a lot of time as a left wing back a right wing back a right back filling in, being cover, and doing okay on the most part. He, he, he's, a, he's a good squad player, but I always felt maybe his talent merited more than just being a squad player to fill in here and there. I remember him playing at Old Trafford in midfield. He was brilliant against Paul Pogba, against Jose Mourinho in that side. Um, Mourinho in that side, Mourinho's United side. And I always thought there was a player there, and for whatever reason, he never really got the minutes in midfield we hoped he'd get. Um, and always became a bit of a bit part player. This time a year ago, he went on loan to West Brom, played on the Sam Allardyce in midfield there. Obviously, they got relegated. And I think he did okay. But, you know, you always felt maybe he'd kick on and never really did. But I do think a big part of that is down to consistency, the constant changing of managers, and maybe Arteta wanted something very particular in midfield. When he's had his opportunities this season, he's done well, to be fair. He really has. I'll give him credit against Norwich, against Watford. He did well in midfield, came on against... Um, Burnley as well, again, did fine. But it looks like his long-term future isn't here at the club. We know he nearly left in the summer. We saw that post on social media. Everton tried to sign him. He said he just wanted to be wanted. Um, and, you know, for whatever, whatever happened, he was convinced to stay. He stayed and uh, got his minutes, but it's just not really happened since, despite even that little bit extra game time. So it looks like he's going to be off, and I'll say for his sake that I'm happy for him. But what does it mean for Arsenal? It means we're light in central midfield. Thomas Partey and Nenny go to AFCON. That leaves Xhaka, who's just had a long-term injury, and Lokonga, who's very raw. A great, a, a great player now, a great's a strong word. A very good player with a lot of potential, think can be a great player. But is that enough for crunch January? I'm not really sure. It tells me that Arsenal maybe are on the brink of bring, on, are on the brink of bringing in a central midfielder. We've been linked with Bruno Guimaraes, Renato Sanchez. We know Jack Wilshere has been training for a long time. I mean, I know Arsenal fans are divided on that, but could he maybe come in and do a job? Who knows? So I think it's going to be really interesting to see what Arsenal do between now and the end of the window. And to sanction this so early suggests that maybe something is happening a bit quicker than we think. Who knows? Just not in the media yet. But I think this is going to be a very interesting couple of weeks. I think this will be a very interesting month, not just for what we do on the pitch in terms of results, but for what we do off it. So let's see. Let me know in the comments section, will you make the same thing, Maitland Niles move? Do you think it's good for him? Um, do you think it's the right thing for the club? Are we leaving ourselves too light in midfield? Are we leaving ourselves too light across the pitch? Uh, uh, you know, as we said, he can cover in other positions. Who knows? You let me know. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Give us your thoughts on anything made in ours. Chat to us on social media and all that. We're doing Twitter spaces, live on Instagram, all sorts. We're going to be discussing all this breaking news as it happens. Ainsley, for when this gets confirmed, we'll do another video. But wish you all the best. And um, Arsenal, let's address this because we're looking live in midfield.